I've been using Angular for around 8 years and I've barely touched server-side rendering with it. Where Angular has been strongest is in creating highly dynamic single page applications and to be blunt it has always just seemed there were better options out there for server-side rendering and static site generation. For many years I've been using React and Gatsby and now SvelteKit to power my content based websites and course platforms. But the Angular team have been making a lot of SSR improvements and a lot of those improvements have now landed in v17 or earlier. And now Netlify have added support to get a server-side rendered Angular application with v17 up and running in just minutes. And that's what I want to show you in this video. This isn't sponsored by Netlify or anything like that, I'm just really stoked to see these kinds of integrations for modern Angular apps. So if you are unfamiliar with the terms SPA, SSR and SSG, here is a simplified breakdown. In all cases we have a client or browser and a server. For a single page application, we only need to make one request to the server to load the application initially. From there any routing between pages and data fetching and rendering happens on the client side. With this approach there is effectively a single index.html page and we create the appearance of routing to other pages with JavaScript. With server side rendering, the client would make a request to the server for each route they want to visit. The server rather than the client would handle doing what it needs to do to render the page including fetching data if necessary and return the rendered page back to the client for that request. Static site generation is essentially the same concept as SSR, except rather than performing this process when the client makes a request to the server, all of the pages for the site can be pre-rendered at build time. This allows you to do a build locally and just deploy a bunch of pre-rendered HTML, CSS and JavaScript files, and then those static files are what the client is going to be requesting from the server for each page. So let's get a server-side rendered Angular application set up with Netlify. Netlify have provided different ways to go about doing this, uh, even just clicking a button or using the CLI, but a nice way to do this is to just go to the underlying Angular 17 template project on GitHub, fork it into your own repo, create a new site on Netlify, choose the repo you just created, all of the build settings will already be pre-configured for you, and then in just a few moments your site will be live. So the default template is not the most exciting web page in the world, so let's make a change and then deploy that change. Now there are some important differences between an SPA Angular application and an SSR Angular application, like the fact that browser APIs are not going to be available to the server rendering your application, the configuration looks a little different, there might be additional data fetching considerations, but the code for an SSR application looks mostly the same as a standard single page Angular application. You can see in this template there are already some pages set up, so let's just go to the home pages template, add a convincing promotional message in there. Now we just need to commit and push our changes and it is going to automatically trigger a build for our Netlify site. And again in just a few moments our new site will be live. And for a slightly less ugly example, go check out Anaya's site instead. I'll have a link for that in the description and to the Angular 17 Netlify repo as well. It just feels like Angular is knocking everything out of the park lately and now they've even got me excited to do SSG and SSR apps with Angular. I am still in the process of migrating my entire website and course platform from React and Gatsby to SvelteKit, and I probably don't need to rewrite it all with Angular and Analog, but anyway, please feel free to drop a like or subscribe if you want, and I hope to catch you back here again for the next video.